Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today, we're considering the spirit of wisdom and revelation. The spirit of wisdom and revelation. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, prayed this special spirit-inspired prayer for the church at Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 1. We start reading from verse 17. He says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. To what end? The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. Now, the point about the spirit of revelation being important is the fact that the spirit of wisdom and revelation is the spirit that reveals God to us. God is a spirit. John chapter 4 and verse 24 tells us that God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Therefore, God cannot be known scientifically. Sense knowledge, that means the five physical senses cannot know God. The five physical senses may perceive or may be able to perceive the presence of God, but they cannot know God. They don't have the capacity to know God. It is only the spirit of man that can know God. The Bible tells us that the things of the spirit of God, no natural man can know because they are foolishness unto him. Why? For they are spiritually designed. That means the things of the Spirit of God can only be spiritually designed. Therefore, it takes the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God to know God. And that's the ministry of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. It is the spirit that brings the revelation of God to us. And this spirit operates to bring our heart to the perception of God. And that was why Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus. He says that the Lord of glory, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. There are a lot of people who want to um, gather evidences and facts about God and then collate them to predict who he looks like and what he does. God is a spirit. God cannot be predicted that way. God can only be known by revelation. And the revelation of God is given to us by the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Revelation simply means to unveil. That means to bring to light. That's what it means. It is the spirit of wisdom and revelation that brings God to our heart. And this spirit operates in Christ Jesus. It's one of the dimensions of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. When you're born again, you can only know God through His Word by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is the one that God has given to us to reveal God to us. He's the one who guides us into all truth. And the, the ministry of the Spirit of God in revealing God to us through the Word is the ministry that brings us into intimate knowledge of God. God wants you to know Him, or you can only know Him by revelation. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God is the one who is meant to introduce God to you and reveal God to you. And as you pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you will give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you. You flood the eyes of my understanding with light, light of the divine life, light of who you are. The Father will do just that for you and he will cause your heart to come into intimate knowledge of him. And this is how to know God beyond the letter. This is how to know God beyond the five physical senses. This is how to come into the real and true knowledge of God through revelation given to us by the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Amen. Covet this manifestation and this dimension in your life as you pray daily, making intercessions, and you will come to know God for yourself beyond what is written in books and what people have told you. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.